And let's turn now our attention to that legal showdown between the federal government and the state of Texas, where the Justice Department is now suing the state. And this after Republican Governor Greg Abbott refused to remove a floating buoy barrier on the Rio Grande, dividing the U.S. and Mexico. Priscilla Thompson is on the border for us. Yeah, no court date has been set yet, but already this is shaping up to be quite the legal battle. On one hand, you have the DOJ accusing Texas Governor Greg Abbott of being in violation of federal law by placing this thousand foot buoy in the water. The DOJ saying that he did not get proper authorization from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers before putting it there. On the other hand, you have a defiant Governor Abbott saying that Texas has a constitutional right to defend its border and accusing the Biden administration of trying to hamper his efforts to secure the border. And just to give you a sense of what it's like here, this buoy is about the length of three football fields, meaning that migrants are having to walk uh, further and into deeper water in order to uh, come across. And then when they do, they are reaching an embankment that the governor has covered in razor wire. There's also wire fencing, as you see behind me. And so it is quite uh, the journey that the buoys are causing. And as for what comes next in this lawsuit. At this hour, the DOJ has not filed for an injunction, meaning for now, the buoys will stay in the water. Priscilla Thompson, NBC News, Eagle Pass, Texas.